Hello, my name is Christopher Franco. I am the lead developer of Expanse, and today I'm going to teach you how to use the Mist Wallet in order to exchange your Expanse tokens for EBS tokens. Let's get started. So as you can see, the first thing that we did was we opened the Expanse Wallet. Uh, we, we skipped the pure search here. It only takes a couple of seconds anyways, but you know, we'll speed it, we'll speed it up. So, as you can see, we go to the Contracts tab, and then we select Watch Contract, and we enter EBS for the name, and then we go to the GitHub repo, uh, the GitHub repo and we get the address, we paste it in there, and then we go and get the ABI, and we select it all, copy it, Control c paste, Control v and then select the button. Boom. There we go. Now we're watching. As you can see that the balance just loaded up. And we go look at it. What's going on here? We copy the address. And then we go to our wallet. And we send the price of one EBS, which is 100 expanse, to this wallet. Also known as depositing. So if anytime that you send expanse from an address that you own to the contract address it automatically deposits it you gotta enter your password whoop, whoop, whoop. once you enter your password you can go all right and we're off so we scroll down and we just wait until the block is found and you know by one of the miners And there it went. So now that the block has been found, we should have a balance of 100 expense in the EBS contract. So we scroll down to the function list. We find the buy function. We select a multiplier of one and we execute. It calculates the gas for us. Um, we put in our password again, and then we click send transaction. Alright, the transaction is sent. And while we are sitting here, we can actually wait for our buy event to fire. So every time uh, somebody interacts with our EBS contract, whether they're transferring funds or depositing funds or, or whatever, buying new contracts, um, the, a, a specific correlating event fires. And that's what we're waiting for right here. And all right, there it went. And I mean, it's that simple. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask us in the Slack chat. You can uh, PM me directly or one of the other administrators and uh, have a good one.